Hello and welcome. My name is Okeze from Chibdono Tech Hub, and this tutorial is on how to set up Bootstrap 5 in your ASP.NET MVC Razor page. In the previous video, we showed how we could set up our projects um, with Bootstrap 5, how to install Bootstrap 5 in our ASP.NET MVC project. Now this is on how to set up your Razor page to work with ASP.NET oh, sorry <laughs> how to set your um, Bootstrap page your Razor page to work with Bootstrap 5 alright so if you did not watch the previous video I um, advise you to go back and watch it and um, so that you can catch up with what we are doing here alright let's move so um, the first step is of course to create a sp.net mvc project which, we, which we've already done if you've not done it go to our videos and you see how you could create your sp.net mvc project the second is to install bootstrap 5 which we did in the previous video if you've not watched it i advise you go back and um, you should see the video in the comment section below and um, the third one is to create the controller for our razor page so the controller that is going to call up to create a controller for our razor page so the controller that is going to call up our um, razor page or our view in the MVC um, is the first thing I'm going to create so I will go over to my project let's go over to my project now all right in the project to create the controller I'll right click on my controller here now go to add and I'll add the controller select the empty controller and add and I'll give it any name I'll give it the home name home controller all right so that's our controller there and um, We've created our controller, and um, if you do not understand how the controller works, um, you stay tuned for a video that will come up soon to explain how the controller works in DMVC. But this is our home controller. Uh, the next step is to create the action that returns the razor page. So we are going to be creating. Um, uh, the written, our page is going to be the index page so we're going to create an action for the index page all right so the default um, action is already created with the name index so we're going to make use of that so there's no need um, if you want to create another action for another page maybe in the same controller say maybe you want to create an about action i'll simply copy this paste it here and change the name from index to about so we have the action for the index we have the action action for the about so next up we're going to add the visual view um, so we're going to do that to add the view right click anywhere within this action and select add view preferably do not change the view name um, for several reasons and for now um, i'm going to uncheck the use a layout um, we're going to be having a video coming up on how to use a layout so click the notification button so you know when that comes up so we're going to add this So we've created our view. This is our razor page index.cshtml. The razor page is a page um, with C 
compatible for C sharp and HTML and that's also what we could call our view so this is um, the basic setup all right so the next step is to go to the uh, um, the website of bootstrap which is getbootstrap.com and copy up the start of the templates all right getbootstrap.com is the official website for bootstrap and then this is where we could have access to the startup templates and the components for bootstrap so we're going to go to quickly go to get started do not change anything here unless you're using a lower version version 4.6 that's when you click on this but if we are using um, version 5 go to get started and by your right here you search for the starter template starter template so that's going to give you templates for setting up your page and we come here and we copy it yes it's copied so we go back to our project so we're going to replace the razor page code with the start up or rather the starter template Okay, so I'm going to copy the whole of this page. I will just leave out the uh, art and layout. I'm going to copy it and delete it. And um, paste Ctrl V the template that we copied out from the bootstrap page. Alright, so the template is here. Yes, yeah, so it has the whole dot type, the head tag, and the body tag. So, and because you are making use of a um, razor page, this art here is going to be a problem. Um, but it's not something to get worried about when we completely, when we follow the next steps, we will sort it out. Right, the next is to replace the path of the start startup template or the starter template with the path in the solution explorer all right so this is very important because um, if you observe the link to this um, bootstrap files are the cdns um, on their website so what this means is that if you are running this project and you're not connected to the internet anything you're testing um, will not work. You have to be always connected to the internet for it to work. So if you don't want to always rely on the internet, we have to replace this path and the parts of these um, files with the path in our local in our solution explorer. So first off, um, our the, the bootstrap CSS file. We're going to replace this bootstrap.min.css. So we're going to go to our solution explorer, go to the contents folder, and we'll look for bootstrap.main.css. So that's this, bootstrap.main.css. Uh, I didn't mean to open it, but I got to my index page. So my solution explorer again. Okay, so bootstrap.main.css, so I left click on my mouse, and I drag it directly under that bootstrap css um, link so this is going to replace this so i can um, gladly remove this other one delete it yes so when i delete it this replaces that file on my um so that replaces that file i'm sorry it replaces that link okay and um with this you could always have your CSS file um, work without you being connected to the internet and of course if there's any update to the bootstrap you will not be um, it will not affect your project unless you want it to alright so the next is to um, change um, the JavaScript files with the um, solution explorer the part of the javascript um, the javascript scripts with the path in our solution 
explorer so there are two options here i always prefer the first option which is a combination of the um, bundle with popper or js so we're going to first of all delete all of um, option two take delete all of option two so i'm left with the option one which is the bootstrap dot bundle dot main dot cs so i'm going to go to my script file and search for bootstrap dot main sorry bootstrap dot bundle dot main dot js so i'll close my contents file and go to the script folder and get bootstrap dot bundle dot main dot js so i'll left click and i'll drag it here so when it's there i can delete the other one and so with this my page is set up um, to work with bootstrap i can always use this on any other page so if for adventure i copy i create my um, about page right click and add the view for my about page i can always you know come to use the same thing for my index page this is my index page copy everything down here and paste it in my about page so the difference is um, the title of course say this is the about page and then that this is my index page and the final one to confirm that your razor page is properly set up uh, we would uh, we would uh, include one of the components of bootstrap to sh be sure that it works well we we'll go back to get bootstrap.com and we select the components here down to the left and select components we see a list of components so you could choose any of the components that we are sure would work i'll select the model i like the model select the model go down to the launch demo where's the launch demo now uh, yes here's the launch demo if i click on this yes this is launch demo i close it so i just copy this once it's copied i go back to my project and um anywhere anywhere i just paste here ctrl v so i ctrl s and save so to be sure that this page has this visual page has uh, successfully been set up for bootstrap i am going to view this in my browser and then test the modal button to be sure that it pops up the modal all right so it's done um opening the page so let's click on the launch button and see if it works all right so it works perfectly this means that our index razor page is set up to have bootstrap 5 working in it so, so if this video was helpful to you don't forget to click the like button and if you've not subscribed to our channel please click on the subscribe ch um, button also and hit the notification button so you can know when we have other videos coming up so thank you and see you in the next video